Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang Thevenin's Theorem. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, ang Thevenin's Theorem, isa siyang network theorem or circuit analysis techniques na pwede rin natin gamitin para mag-analyze at mag-solve ng circuit. So, merong advantage ang paggamit ng Thevenin's Theorem. So, halimbawa, let's say meron tayong circuit na to. So, kung mapapansin nyo, napaka-complicated ng circuit. So, marami tayong sources. Meron tayong dalawang voltage source saka isang current source. Tapos napansin nyo, meron tayong variable resistor dito. So, kung hahanapin natin yung voltage at current dito sa uh, resistor na to, yung variable resistor na to, pwede natin gamitin yung Thevenin's Theorem for certain values of resistor. Halimbawa, binago natin yung value ng resistor na to, let's say, from 1 ohm, yung initial value niya, ginawa natin 2 ohm, then 4 ohm, etc. So, kapag ginawa natin yon yung circuit analysis technique natin, parang magiging mahirap kasi mababago yung value ng resistor mo. So, ulitin mo kung ano man yung circuit analysis techniques na ginawa mo. At the original value ng resistor. So, napaka tedious. Lalo kung tulad nitong circuit na to na komplikado. Pero kung gagamitin natin yung Thevenin's Theorem, kasi pwede nating palitan itong complicated circuit na to by an equivalent voltage source or yung Thevenin voltage as well as Thevenin resistance so yung equivalent resistance. So, Pag ginawa natin yon, kahit pagubaguhin natin tong value ng resistor, magiging madali pa rin yung pag-analyze natin kasi meron ka na lang equivalent isang voltage source sa isang equivalent resistance, particularly connected in series. Tapos i-connect mo doon yung RL. So mas madali mo ma-analyze yung circuit kahit pagubaguhin mo pa yung RL. Kasi pwede ka na lang gumamit ng voltage divider. So yun yung advantage ng Thevenin's Theorem. So mamaya Magsasolve tayo ng isang example at ipapakita ko kung paano gamitin yung Thevenin's Theorem. Okay, so define muna natin kung ano ang Thevenin's Theorem. Thevenin's Theorem. So, it states that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by an equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source VTH in series with a resistor RTH where VTH is the open circuit voltage at the terminals and RTH is the input or equivalent resistance at the terminals when the independent sources are turned off. Okay, so ganito daw siya. So let's say meron ka raw 2 linear terminal circuit. So etong 2 linear terminal circuit, parang siya yung pinakita kong uh, circuit dun sa kanina. So let's say ito yung nasa loob ng 2 linear terminal circuit. Okay? And then, meron ka raw uh, R load. So, yung R load natin, ito yon yung RL. So, sabi sa Thevenin's Theorem, pwede mo raw palitan itong linear two-terminal circuit ng Thevenin voltage or equivalent voltage doon sa linear circuit na yon at Thevenin equivalent resistance. So, parang magiging ganito na lang yung kakalabasang circuit pag ginawa natin yon VTH in series dun sa RTH Tapos, saka natin i-coconnect doon sa R-load, yung series connection na to. Okay? So, therefore, kung mapapansin nyo, pag ginawa natin yon kahit nga bagu-baguhin natin yung value nitong RL, madali, magiging madali pa rin yung circuit analysis natin kasi series uh, resistors lang yung nabuo natin equivalent circuit pag ginamit natin yung Thevenin's Theorem. Okay? So, ito yung pwede natin gamitin mga formula kapag nakuha na natin yung Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, alam naman natin mag-analyze kapag series circuit lang, di ba? So, makukuha natin yung current doon sa load or yung doon sa R load using this formula. So, yung input voltage, this time yung VTH over yung total resistance. So, yun yung RTH plus yung RL. Then, pwede natin mahuna, makuha yung voltage across RL using Ohm's law. So, RL is equal to IL or RL over RTH plus RL times VTH. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong, paano naman natin makukuha yung equivalent Thevenin voltage or VTH as well as equivalent resistance or yung RTH? So, proceed tayo dun sa mga steps na gagawin natin. Okay, for step 1, we have find the Thevenin or equivalent resistance RTH across the terminals by turning off all the independent source 
shorting voltage source and opening current source. Okay, so hahanapin daw natin yung equivalent resistance across dun sa terminal na kinoconsider natin. Dapat, i-off natin yung mga voltage source at current source. So, kapag voltage source, dapat isi-short. Tapos, kapag current source, dapat i-open. So, mamaya, papakita natin yon. Next step, find the Thevenin or open circuit voltage VTH across the terminals by using any circuit analysis techniques you like. So, after natin makuha yung Thevenin resistance, this time, aalisin natin yung uh, R load o yung resistor across dun sa terminal na kinoconsider natin. Then, hahanapin natin dun yung voltage across that terminal. So, parang kaya tinawag na open circuit voltage kasi wala tayong nakakonect na resistor tinanggal natin. Tapos, kapag ginawa natin yun, nandun lahat yung mga sources ha, hindi natin i-off. Tapos, pwede daw nating isolve yung open circuit voltage or, or Thevenin voltage across dun sa terminals na kinoconsider natin gamit kung ano man yung circuit analysis na gusto natin na so far, kung ano man yung naaral na natin. Sa mamaya, gagamitin natin yon Okay? Next, connect RTH in series with the load, say RL, across VTH and apply the formula above to solve for the voltage or current of the load. So, parang ito na nga yun. So, after natin mahanap yung RTH at VTH, connect lang natin yung R load in series doon sa uh, voltage source na VTH at RTH. And then, Apply natin yung mga formula na to para ma-solve yung voltage sa current doon sa R load. Okay? Okay, solve na tayo ng example para ma-illustrate kung paano gamitin yung Thevenin's theorem. So, find the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the circuit shown below to the left of the terminals AB. Then, find the current through RL equals 6, 16, 36 ohm. So, ito raw yung circuit. Tapos, hanapin daw natin yung equivalent Thevenin circuit dito, across dito sa terminal na to, yung AB. So, parang ito yung linear to terminal circuit, tapos ito yung load natin. So, sabi, binabago natin yung R load natin. So, meron tayong 6 ohm, 16 ohm, tsaka 36 ohm. So, dito mapapakita natin yung advantages ng Thevenin theorem kasi binabago natin yung RL. Okay? So, let's start with the first step. So, hanapin natin yung RTH o yung Thevenin equivalent resistance ng circuit across terminal AB. So, sabi sa first step, para magawa natin yon dapat i-off natin yung mga independent sources. So, this time, itong 30 volt source natin ay i-short natin. Tapos, itong 2 amp current source natin ay i-open natin. So, draw natin yung equivalent circuit pag ginawa natin yon So, i-short daw natin si 32 volt source. Tapos, kopihin lang natin kung ano man yung ibang given resistors. Okay? So, 4 ohm and 12 ohm. And then, itong 2 amp current source, i-open natin. So, parang ganyan. Okay? And then, last itong 1 ohm. So, 1 ohm. Okay? And then, ito yung terminal AB. So, itong RL, tatanggalin natin na Tapos, dito tayo maghahanap noong equivalent resistance. Okay, so pag ginawa natin yon, parang ang magiging equivalent resistance natin or yung RTH, ano na lang siya, di ba ito ay parallel, tapos in series dito sa resistor na to. So, itong resistor na to ay 1 ohm, okay? So, therefore, RTH is equal to 1 ohm plus itong parallel na 4 ohm tsaka 12 ohm. So, ang formula ay yung product nila so, 4 ohm times 12 ohms over yung sum nila. So, 4 ohm plus 12 ohm. So, therefore, using calculator, masasolve natin yung RTH as 4 ohm. Okay? So, mamaya gagamitin natin yung RTH. So, let's proceed dun sa step 2. So, this time, hanapin naman natin yung open circuit voltage doon sa terminal A at B. So, aalisin din natin tong R load. Okay, so ito yung circuit. This time, tinanggal ko na yung RL o yung load across doon sa terminal A at B. So, therefore, hanapin natin yung open circuit voltage across this terminal AB or yung VTH. So, napansin nyo, kaya siya tinawag na open circuit voltage kasi tinanggal natin yung RL na kinoconsider natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, dahil open na tong circuit natin dito sa terminal AB, 
parang itong resistor na to, diba 1 ohm yan, para siyang naka-float na lang. So, wala nang dadalay na current dito sa loop na to kasi open, diba? So, therefore, wala na ring voltage na across dito sa 1 ohm resistor kasi yung current niya ay 0, diba? So, therefore, parang wire na lang siya na naka-float. So, pwede na nating tanggalin yan. So, parang ang equivalent niya na lang ay wire na lang na wala nang resistance kasi... 0 voltage yung masusukat natin sa kanya, di ba? So ngayon, check natin kung anong circuit analysis ang pinakamadaling gamitin para mahanap itong VTH. By the way, itong VTH na to ay ito yung voltage across dito sa 2 ohm source saka sa 12 ohm resistor kasi parallel, di ba? Principle of parallel circuit. So the voltage across parallel elements are the same. So therefore, itong VTH isang node lang to dito with reference dun sa ground. So, parang ito ay VTH din, di ba? Tapos ito ay VTH din. Okay? So, since isang node lang sila, so, let's say ito na lang yung VTH. So, kung mapapansin nyo, mapapadali yung circuit analysis natin kung gagamit tayo ng nodal analysis. Kasi isang node lang siya, tapos pag nahanap na natin yung node VTH, siya na yung Thevenin voltage natin. Okay? Tapos, i-reference natin yung ground. So, ito. Okay? So, pag in natin yung nodal analysis, so, lagi kong ginagawa pag nodal analysis, di ba, ina-assume ko na papalayo yung mga current dun sa resistor with respect dun sa node. Okay? Tapos, itong 2 amp current source, kukopihin lang natin kung ano yung direction niya with reference dun sa VTH node. So, therefore, papunta siya, di ba? Okay? So, apply natin yung, yung nodal analysis. So, Diba, apply natin yun yung KCL. So, summation of current is equal to 0. So, leaving is equal entering at node VTH. Okay, dun muna tayo sa mga leaving. So, ito yung uh, current dun sa 4 ohm. So, we have VTH minus 32 volts over yung resistance na 4 ohm. Plus, itong VTH uli over yung 12 ohm. Kasi nakagraw naman na siya, di ba? Equals doon sa entering this time yung 2 amp nga. Okay? So ngayon, pwede na natin masolve yung equation for VTH. So using calculator, masasolve natin yung VTH readily as... So shift solve nyo na lang. VTH is 30 volts. Okay, so dahil mayroon na tayong RTH at VTH, pwede na nating i-redraw yung Thevenin equivalent circuit. So we have VTH which is equal to 30 volts and then RTH which is equal to 4 ohms and then tsaka natin i-coconnect doon sa terminal AB uli yung RL natin. Okay? So, meron tayong tatlong value, di ba? Yung 6 ohm, 16 ohm, tsaka 36 ohms. So, yung pinapahanap ay yung current through RL. So, para masolve natin yung current through RL, isa-isahin natin yung value ng resistor. So, let's say dito muna tayo sa 6 ohm. So, di ba series lang siya? So, yung IL ay constant dun sa series circuit. So, IL is equal to... VTH over yung total resistance which is yung sum lang ng RTH at RL. So, we have RTH plus RL. So, kung 6 ohm muna tayo, we have 30 volts over 4 ohms plus 6 ohms. So, we have 30 over 4 plus 6 or 10 is equal to 3 amps. Okay? Now, kapag... 16 ohms naman. So, we have 30 volts over 4 ohm plus 16 ohm. So, we have 1.5 amps. Okay? And then last, kung 36 ohm naman. So, we have 30 volts over 4 ohms plus 36 ohms. So, we have 0 0.75 amps. Okay? So therefore, using Thevenin's theorem, nasolve natin yung current passing through the load RL when we vary the resistances. Okay? So para ma-check yung computations natin using Thevenin's theorem, sinimulate ko rin yung circuit. 
So, check natin yung current through RL kung ang value niya ay 6 ohms. So, we have, okay, 3 amps. So, tama. Then, kung 16 ohms naman, we have 1.5 amps. So, tama pa rin. And then, lastly, kung 36 ohms naman, we have 750 milliamps or 0 0.75 amps. So, therefore, tama din. Okay, so this time, meron akong challenge or practice problem para sa inyo. So, find the voltage across and current through RL by getting the equivalent thevenin circuit para sa circuit daw na to. So, ito yung circuit. Tapos, hanapin nyo yung equivalent thevenin circuit across this terminal, A tsaka B. Okay? So, apply nyo lang kung ano yung ginawa natin dun sa example natin using thevenin's theorem. Okay, so that's it for the topic 7 in Sturem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.